Hello, my name is Richard Lund. Today we're going to be doing part of what my journey I usually call looking to live a healthy hundred years. Uh, part of it is, in my case, a few years ago my doctor diagnosed me with sleep apnea. Now sleep apnea is, I don't know, kind of a weird word, apnea, what does that mean? It means during the night uh, you get your airway cut off and your your mind senses that you, there's in the body there's a way to trigger and so you end up waking up and then you fall asleep again and then you wake up you fall asleep again because you keep having air cut off and then you wake up enough to breathe enough to get some air in and then you fall asleep again but what you don't get is deep sleep you don't get REM sleep REM sleep is where we I, I mean I'm told <laughs> I'm no expert but I'm told that we sort out things in our brain the things that have happened during the day you kind of put things where it's supposed to go. It's a way of, it's kind of like reformatting your hard drive, if you know computer speak, or just doing a good spring cleaning if you're, if you're thinking about your home. Or cleaning out the garage, <laughs> you know. Uh, always, we seem to clutter our garages with things. But apnea is much more serious because you also have the healing sleep, the deep sleep that doesn't happen, at least very much. And when you have that, then what what ends up is you don't heal. You don't have the, that's the time in your body when you heal. And your body is so interesting. I find it to be interesting anyway. And so I've tried some devices. The first device I tried was called a CPAP. You know, it's continuous positive airway pressure. And then uh, that I tried that for a while, but after a while it didn't really, I, I always had a hard time with it. And so my doctor retested me and then I got fitted with an APAP. It's kind of the same thing. It's automatic positive airway pressure. I just want to show you the mask I'm currently, or have been currently using. Uh, one end of the hose, you know, here goes into the machine and the other end clips on to this mask. It's kind of nice, you know, that way when I get up, if I have to go up and use the restroom or something, I can do that without having to unplug the machine. So this thing has to go over the head like this and then these things can go up like this and, you know. Uh, I guess if I were a fighter pilot, I'd be used to that kind of thing, but you know what? That's a lot of rigmarole. That's a lot of stuff. Um, you know, some nights I do okay. Some nights I can keep it on for a little while and then I gotta take it off. It just bothers me too much. And, you know, once in a while I'll sleep several, I mean, seven or eight hours. And I've kept it on it's all night. And my sleep varies, you know. So the nice folks at Snorple, I guess that's what they're calling. They're nice people. The snoring people, it says. Uh, the, the nice folks at Snorple have asked me to try their pro their product. Now, I, I should explain, you know, how this works. Um, there are people that tell you that they're going to do a review, and they're really just following a script. You know, that's one way to advertise. And some people send something out to somebody to review and say, okay, we're going to give you the freedom to actually try this out, you know, a real tryout, and tell us what you think, and tell us, you know, what, whether you think you'd recommend it or not recommend it. And it's kind of the direction we've headed on this one. They have sent me actually two devices, just so that I would have one to show you, you know, when we're doing this video, and also the one that I've been using. In, in addition, um, they want me to show you the features. Now, that's, that's a fair thing. Uh, we're going to show you the features of how it works, so you understand what their design is. And I think I have to admire design. In fact, I love, I love good design. And I think this is an interesting design. So this is the one I've been using. Well, I actually shouldn't say I've been using because I tried it once, but I'll go over that in a little bit, explain how that works. But this is the, the one in here. And I, I made it so I could get to the, the little device down here just by pulling that out. And it comes in this nice package and it has instructions on the back. This is the back of the, the first one we had. 
And it, you know, explains everything, but I'll just go over it with you anyway, because I want you to understand it. I, I think it was probably a good thing that they did send me two, because I wanted to make sure uh, that I could explain to you really well what's going on. So they give us a nice case. You'll notice some little holes in there. So once you're done with it, you can put it in here and it will air dry. Um, I don't know if there's a particular regimen that they recommend for cleaning or not, but it would be basically, I would think you just want to rinse it off in cool water um, and that would be enough. And there are some other devices in the world. Um, there's a very interesting uh, machine that I tried um, with using UV light to clean, and that would work really well. In fact, I have used it on this already. So I just wanted you to see that it has, so you get the orientation, right? Because your teeth are going to mold to this area here and also on the bottom teeth here. Now, it also has a, a couple openings in the front, so you can see there's an airway. And in addition to that, um, we have their logo, their name right here. Now, that's not just fancy stuff. That's actually very practical because you need to know what's going to go up and what's going to go down. You don't want to put it in your mouth upside down. You know, that's not working. Now, there's also this very interesting part in the middle. It has uh, a flat piece there. Uh, I forgot what term they use for it. Um, I wrote down, oh, tongue bumper, tongue bumper. And that's what that is. So I'm just going to take this is a, a, a table knife. Um, I suppose a person could use a sharp knife, but you really don't need to you just use a table knife. And I'm just going to push it in here in between the two parts because I want to pop this open and show you how it comes apart so that you could adjust it. Now, in, in life, we all arrive <laughs> in different sizes. Some of us are bigger, some of us are smaller. Some of us have, you know, a wider mouth, a, a deeper mouth, shallower, whatever, different sizes. So the, the part here is, you can see, has the, the tongue bumper. And this is the upper, as you can see, because you can see the, the product name. And then the bottom part here. And the bottom part, if you'll notice, has these, these nice um, little plastic posts that are up. And the top part has a series of holes. I'm also going to just take a moment to, well, you understand that the top and the bottom, we can adjust how it fits together. If, if for some reason for our mouth, our jaw is further forward, our lower teeth are further forward or further back, it can be adjusted. And that's an interesting feature. I, I, I personally have tried it out and I find that I need the, the place where it starts in the middle, just like, just like it came. But it actually can go quite a bit you know, further, what's the distance here? This would be, could go all the way like this. I think you can see that, or I'll do that there. And then it could also go forward the other way, it would be here. So uh, there's probably, looks like at least a centimeter adjustment there, and a centimeter or maybe, you know, two fifths of an inch, roughly speaking. And then the the tongue bumper is also adjustable in that you can go, there's one more hole back here where you could put that. So if you did that, you'd end up with the piece like this. It would st be sticking back further, or it would be, um, you know, in the original position. Or if for some reason you didn't need the tongue bumper, the whole business would also go back together uh, without it. So that's kind of the idea. Now, when I first took this, I didn't really understand a lot about it. <laughs> I had to try it out. So, and I, I saw these, these blue areas and the blue areas are, I don't know what the material is actually made out of, but it's, it's something of, of, of a plastic that's a hygienic plastic and it's moldable. That's the key because it needs to fit your teeth. And uh, so I'm going to put this back together, but I want to put it back. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I want to put, put it back together with the tongue bumper in place to show you again how that 
how that molding takes place after we heat it. Now, it is temperature sensitive so that the molding will come once it reaches a certain temperature, then it will allow it be to the plastic to be molded. And then once it's reduced again in temperature, then it more or less retains that shape. So I put it back together and I put my knife out of the way, try not to make a lot of noise with it so that you understand what we're dealing with. In order to get it correctly done, I have some water here, which is on my cooling bath. I call it cooling bath. It sounds more professional that way. But you can see the shape of this, and it's a certain amount of depth. And then on the front, because there's this white plastic, this white plastic does not mold. So when it goes into the pan of water, which I'll explain in a minute, it will go in like this, and then it will be uh, it will uh, be affected by the water. It'll become moldable. And then we'll take our, I, I like a tongs better. They suggest a spoon, but I think a tongs is actually ideal. And grab it here, pull it up, and then I'll let it sit here. So if this was the hot water, I'd bring it out of there. And then I would bring it back into here, actually. I would initially put it into here. And then I would put it over here to, uh, to, to let it rinse off or dry, whatever. And then once it was, let's see, how does it work? Once it's at the, you know, in the temperature, the hotter water, for one minute, exactly 60 seconds, not, not 70 seconds or 50 seconds, 60 seconds, I would put it into my mouth, bite down so that it takes the impression of my teeth. I would take it out fairly quickly, put it into the water to cool. So that's the sequence. Boil the water first. The water that's boiled will have a temperature of in Fahrenheit, about 212 degrees, or in Celsius, uh, it would be uh, 100 degrees. And then when you put it into that water, it's you, you, you boil it, you take it off the boil, in other words, you're, you turn off the heat, you put it in, in this way, just like this, so that it's, it's going down and it's resting on the white plastic, so that the other plastic is affected. It's, uh, then it has that moldable ability. If you would lay it flat on the bottom of the pan, which if possible, uh, you might find it that it could stick to the pan or it could stick to the spoon if you were using a spoon to bring it up or something like that. So I hope I've made it clear that uh, you need to mold it first to use it. And after it's molded, uh, then you would rinse it off, let it dry off. And then when you're ready to go lay down and use this to affect your mouth, you, you'll be able to see that. What happens in, you can kind of hear it this way. I, I saw a doctor a friend of mine uh, illustrate this online one time, and I thought this is a good way to explain it. The jaw, we, our jaws, we can move them forward, <laughs> backward. There's quite a bit of play in the jaw. And when we are laying flat, so I'm, you know, tipping backwards, there's, there's some tissues in the back of the mouth that can kind of sag, and that is what causes the closing of the airway and the sleep apnea. So it happens to be that the jaw, when we're laying back on our back, pushes back. So if you can imagine, I'm going to make kind of a noise with my mouth and then push my jaw, and you can hear the difference. Ah, 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 and that's just a very simple illustration of what is happening when the sleep apnea occurs. The, the mask, you understand, is kind of fighting. I mean, it's, it's blowing a bunch of air in there in order to keep it open, but because it's pushing on the, you know, here, it's pushing on the jaw. It's kind of bad design. <laughs> you know, I don't know if there'll be somebody who will figure out a design for one of those masks that doesn't push on the jaw. It wouldn't be bad. <laughs> but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about Snorkel. It's kind of a cool name, isn't it? Oh, honey. 
I love it when you don't snorple. I mean, uh, no, I love it when you snorple and not snore. Maybe that's what we should say. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that the water has boiled and I'm going to bring the water. Let's see, I'm going to bring it here. I don't know if you'll be able to see. So I may just take it from where it is and bring it up this way or whatever. Oh, I know what I could do. I will, I will relocate things so that the, the pan of water is, is way over here. That's what we'll do. Okay. And then I should explain that there'll be an initial part of this video now, and there'll be tomorrow when I talk about how I've been doing and what I recommend and the, the strengths and the weaknesses of this particular design. So that's it for the moment. Thank you for listening. Okay, so now we have our freshly boiled water and got my tongs and the snorkel. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> so I'm going to put it in. Alexa, set a timer for one minute. One minute, starting now. Okay, you notice how she said starting now and then so there'll be a couple of seconds here. So I might have to, well, I'll risk it if I need to. But. This is an interesting thing because no matter where you are in the world, no matter what your power to your requirements are, whether you're cooking on a wood stove or whether you, you know, Alaska, you've got, uh, you know, a wood stove or you've got a, a very high tech oven, uh, you know, I, I don't even know all the different types of hot plates and things people use. But because all you need to do is bring it to a boil, turn off the water, I mean, turn off the heat and then put it in for one minute exactly and pull it out and put it in your mouth, form it, cool it. Um, you can do that anywhere. You could be practically, I don't know if you were like in, well, I can imagine you being at the North Pole or something, but I just about every, oh, get it out quick. Okay, there and in. Alexa, be quiet, stop it. Stop the timer. I hope she got it. Okay. So you notice it just kind of floats around a little bit because what we've done is just cooled it off. Did I do that right? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I did that right. Well, I bet it'll mold. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm. Okay, now you can see the molding that my teeth have done. And um, I don't think I was supposed to put it in there. I think I was supposed to put it in my mouth first, but this is a, a good moldable material. And oops, <laughs> I'll just put it there as so you can see it. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Um, if I needed to do it again, I could, since that's nearly on a boil. I'm gonna try that one more time, just to make sure I get it right. Alexa, set a timer for 45 seconds. 45 seconds, starting now. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I don't have a watch with a stopwatch thing, so I have to use her. <laughs> oh, well, anyway. So there we are. Let's see, let's see what happens. Interesting. This is interesting technology, you know? Um, Anti-snoring mouthpiece. It says it stops snoring, sleep better, customize your fit. Those are good goals. That's maybe, maybe it'll do it. Um, I think we're coming close. Uh, try it. Alexa, stop the timer. Yeah. Got the right orientation. <laughs> and then I'll dip it in here. Okay, that worked. So I'm going to sleep on it tonight and I will give you a report. I have tried it one other night. 
um, I have some adjustments I'm going to make and see what my assessments are. You know, I really appreciate you sticking around to find out what I say about it because, quite frankly, it's an interesting design. The, um, the instructions they give are uh, fill a pot with three inches of water, which is, you know, three inches about like that. It has to go underneath, you know, it has to go all, all the way down. And it needs to be in this position, I think. It's my opinion. But I think it needs to be in a, in a vertical position so that the, the blue doesn't stick to the pan and you can easily manipulate it. Number two, turn off the heat. Place in the water for only 60 seconds. Number three, carefully remove with the spoon. I suggest a tongs. doesn't have to be this tongs, but I think you get it. Number four, place the snorkel into your mouth and bite down. Number five, remove your snorkel and rinse. And then repeat if necessary. So which is what we did, isn't it? So um, again, we'll take a good look at it. This is the this is the bottom. And this is where I might have you know my teeth have fit. And this is the top. And uh, so I guess you can see it like that better. And here, bottom and top. Now, again, there's this little opening here. So if you are a mouth breather, which I have been quite a bit in my life, you're still going to get some air in, even if you have your teeth, you know, your jaws in position. I guess that's the secret here, isn't it? That it holds your jaw in position and it doesn't fall backwards. Because it can't. <laughs> and the second thing, by that, that tongue, what they call that, the tongue bumper. <laughs> I, that's a that's a cool cool name. I guess I don't know whether it's just something you rest your tongue against and it kind of causes it to stay in position. That's I think that's the the design idea, and uh, we'll find out what what happens. Um, so I'm going to give it a good try, and you have to understand that when I start with this this deal, you know. The instructions are to try to keep it in your, you know, on your head for four, four hours. And they more or less want you to do that for several weeks, several weeks to get used to it. <laughs> does it require getting used to? Yes, it does a lot. So to try uh, this wonderful product for just, you know, a night or two, quite frankly, probably isn't going to be a whole story. And uh, we'll see. But the main thing is, it's a completely new adventure. And it's something that, I guess, could be, you know, travel easily. I mean, honestly, this is a beautiful little case. Easy, easy to transport. Um, it uh, could be rinsed easily with some water. And... Um, Put it in the case to, to dry out. So, you know, if you have to travel for work or go on vacation or whatever, take it along really easily. You don't have to have a supply of distilled water, which you need with, the, you know, the, the APAP. Uh, you don't have to have, you know, replacement mask, face cover businesses. Uh, I tore mine one night and then, of course, there goes there. Can't, you know. Uh, so there's a lot of things about that that require maintenance, cleaning, you know, de disinfectant, uh, whatever. So, uh, try washing out one of those hoses sometime. It, it's nuts. I don't like it. But here is here is not a reason to complain about somebody else's product. We're here to try this new one just to see if it's a, if a better solution. That's my, uh, that's my project. Let's look into what happens tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back. <laughs> I have completed my initial test and I've had two evenings where I've had the snorkel. Um, you have to understand that we need to reflect on the whole, the whole business, not just the individual product. This is an excellent product, well-made, well-designed, high quality materials, and it's safe to use. I should explain a couple more things though. When you're dealing with the choice of how to help yourself not have the sleep apnea, you have to think of the whole picture. And for some people, this is going to be a very good choice. 
And for others, it may not work for them. But it's, it's kind of like, um, you know, when I was a kid, there was a Volkswagen Bug, which sold for $2,000, brand new. <laughs> That's a long time ago. And there was probably a Mercedes-Benz that sold for $40,000. And they weren't the same car. They could both get you down the street. And they could maybe even go across the country. But the price was far, far different. I think that most people who are thinking about this product are either dissatisfied with CPAP or APAP or whatever kind of PAP you got, or are thinking about it from the standpoint of initial, I want to try something because I've got some snoring problems and I want to see if I can fix it and not have to spend money on the doctor, not have to spend money on a very expensive piece of apparatus and um, and then have to maintain that every day. You know, those are the choices. So again, it's kind of like Volkswagen and the high-end Mercedes, the 600 when I was a kid. What do they call it? A Maybach now, something like that. And I guess they still make Volkswagens too, don't they? But for me, when I started using the CPAP originally and then my APAP later on, it was a long time to get used to it. And I think this is what I'm facing here. The first time go around, I used this one. And this was with the uh, tongue uh, bumper uh, in place. And so with that in place, I laid down and for some reason, I had a problem within the first 20 minutes. Uh, I have a sensitivity in my body. It might be like yours, maybe not. Toward the back of my mouth, I have a strong gag reflex. And for some reason, the fluid that kept coming back, you know, saliva, which is, you know, in, in your mouth, it was, I feel it was generated from having this in my mouth. And then I was needing to swallow, and it was a little more difficult to swallow. And quite frankly, I just gave up after 20 minutes. That doesn't mean I didn't stop trying, but it, it means that I, I couldn't go any further. And I think that that was, I'm glad they sent two. I, I re-bet this one. You saw me do this one. And after I tried it last night, I was laying down for a while. And then I, I decided to remove the, uh, the tongue uh, bumper. And after that, I was able to keep it in my mouth for about two hours. That's pretty good. But that's, again, a start. Now, I can't tell you whether it solved my snoring problem or not during that two hours. My wife said initially that she did hear me snore very, very little. You know, very, um, softly is what I'm trying to say. So, in my particular experience, this wasn't after, you know, just two tries, isn't successful yet. However, you must remember that this whole issue when you're dealing with it is not a simple slam dunk deal. And like I said, for some people, this would be maybe something to try. I mean, the price is moderate. Um, I, don't, I don't really have a knowledge of what they'll be marketed for as far as how much money you have to pay, but it's not going to be a huge amount of money. Again, for a high quality product that's well designed, it you know fits the anatomy of the body, and can successfully hold the jaws in place. Now there's a little bit of um, I would have to say a strain, kind of a, a resistance to holding your mouth still, at the jaw still. There's a certain amount of tightness that comes in here. I guess because you know I'm thinking about uh, 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 I have to hold my uh, uh, you know like this, and um, you also can't talk when when the the tongue barrier is there, just you can't speak. So I could say a few things when the tongue barrier was out and uh, my wife was able to understand me. So again, this is not a, a negative thing to say this is a bad product. This is a good product and it's going to be right for some people and it might be right for many people. Uh, so far at two nights, it hasn't been successful for me yet. However, again, with a CPAP, weeks and weeks of trying and trying and trying before I could even keep it in for, you know, I should say connected on me 
for, you know, four or five hours, and then I still had to take it off. So, you know, why don't you give it a, I mean, I think you ought to give it a try. That's what I'm trying to say. I, I think if you're, if you're starting out with trying to solve your problem, this is a good choice to try and see what happens. And then if you need to go further, go consult a doctor, you know, hook yourself up with a much 30, 40 times more expensive device like a CPAP. I don't exactly know what that would be for you, but I mean, I'm just saying it's, it's going to be expensive. And of course, the sleep study uh, that you have to do, that's, that's a big deal. Um, there's, there's a lot to it. So this is just something that could be easily tried and hey, if it doesn't work, you haven't blown all your money. Uh, you haven't spent the farm, that's the way you say it. <laughs> and um, so I just want to say, give a positive word about Snorple. Again, they gave me the freedom to say the truth. Whatever happened to me was what I could say. I didn't have to couch it. I didn't have to put uh, any spin on it. I could just say what happened to me. And that's a, that's a serious a serious company that makes those kind of choices. And I think that I appreciate them for that. So thank you, Snorple, for letting me try your product. Um, I may continue for a while to see how it goes because I wouldn't mind having a tiny little thing like this and, and be, you know, connected up with this for the rest of my life. <laughs> anyway, yes, thank you very much for listening. I'm Richard Lund, and again, I'm on a journey. I journeyed to live a healthy hundred years. Why don't you come along with me? Thank you.